Episode 8, Questions are based on Chapter 3 of the book, Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Let's begin. Which factors should be considered when selecting a fish container? A. Material strength and color options. B. Insulating properties and ease of handling. C. Availability and cost effectiveness. D. Stackability and drainage capability. Which factors should be considered when selecting a fish container? B. Insulating properties and ease of handling. Which materials are commonly used in the manufacture of modern-day containers? A. Steel and aluminum. B. Glass and ceramic. D. Polyethylene and propylene polypropylene, D. Cardboard and paper. Which materials are commonly used in the manufacture of modern-day containers? C. Polyethylene and polypropylene. What are the characteristics of high-density polyethylene containers? A. Lightweight and water absorbent. B. Resistant to impact and chemicals. C. Fragile and moisture permeable. D. Expensive and difficult to clean. What are the characteristics of high-density polyethylene containers? B. Resistant to impact and chemicals. Which plastic material is more rigid? Stronger and lighter than polyethylene. A. Polyethylene. B. Polypropylene. C. Polystyrene. D. High density polyethylene. Which plastic material is more rigid, stronger, and lighter than polyethylene? B. Polypropylene. What are the advantages of expanded polystyrene as a fish container material? A. Excellent insulation and easy cleaning. B. Resistance to bacteria and mold growth. C. High water absorption and abrasiveness. D. Heavy weight and high thermal conductivity. What are the advantages of expanded polystyrene as a fish container material? B. Resistance to bacteria and mold growth. What is a disadvantage of polystyrene boxes as fish containers? A. Lack of drainage for melt water. B. Difficulty in handling due to weight. C. High cost and low insulating properties. D. Accumulation of dirt in damaged pores. What is a disadvantage of polystyrene boxes as fish containers? A. Lack of drainage for meltwater. Which type of containers are conical in shape and commonly used by fishers in the Philippines? A. Plastic boxes. B. Galvanized iron sheet tops. C. Wooden boxes. D. Coconut, bamboo, or rattan baskets. Which type of containers are conical in shape and commonly used by fishers in the Philippines? B. Galvanized iron sheet tubs or banyera. What is the drawback of wooden boxes as fish containers? A. Poor insulating property. B. Difficulty in cleaning. C. Lightweight and fragile. D. Corrosion and rusting. What is the drawback of wooden boxes as fish containers? B. Difficulty in cleaning. What is the advantage of coconut, bamboo, 
or rattan baskets when insulated with coconut fiber pillows. A. Longer ice retention. B. Ease of handling and cleaning. C. Superior insulation and durability. D. Resistance to bacteria and mold growth. What is the advantage of coconut, bamboo, or rattan baskets when insulated with coconut fiber pillows? A. Longer ice retention What is the primary aim of using insulation in containers? A. To increase the rate of heat exchange B. To maintain a constant temperature C. To slow down the rate of heat exchange. D. To prevent the transfer of heat. What is the primary aim of using insulation in containers? C. To slow down the rate of heat exchange. What property measures the efficiency of an insulating material in preventing heat flow? A. Thermal conductivity. B. Density C. Permeability to water vapor D. Compressive strength What property measures the efficiency of an insulating material in preventing heat flow? A. Thermal conductivity Which material has a lower thermal conductivity, cork or fiberglass mat? A. Cork B. Fiberglass mat C. Both have the same thermal conductivity. D. Neither cork nor fiberglass have good insulation properties. Which material has a lower thermal conductivity, cork or fiberglass mat? B. Fiberglass mat. Which insulating material has good vapor resistance but emits poisonous gases when burned? A. Cork. B. Sawdust C. Kapok D. Poly polyurethane Which insulating material has good vapor resistance but emits poisonous gases when burned? D. Polyurethane What must be observed at all times to ensure good hygiene and sanitation when handling chilled fish a temperature control b time management c contamination prevention d physical protection what must be observed at all times to ensure good hygiene and sanitation when handling chilled fish a. Temperature control, B. Time management, C. Contamination prevention, D. Physical protection. Answer C. Contamination prevention. What must be kept to a minimum when handling chilled fish? A. Contamination, B. Time delays, C. Physical damage, D. All of the above. What must be kept to a minimum when handling chilled fish? D. All of the above.